campers, it's flight week, and today we're learning about kites, which means that we're going to have another project that Burke will overcomplicate and then crash and burn. Hey, that's only half true. Just not sure which half yet. Well, it seems like you've got the first half of your failure done. Did you build a kite? I certainly did, and I found a way to use it while I'm still inside the campgrounds. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I could use a little bit something different, though. Like a camera? Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that's what Chris Benton is going to show us how to do today. So let's go out and get inspired. I am Chris Benton. I'm a professor of architecture at UC Berkeley. I teach building science, basically how buildings work. We could probably cut this energy use to a third of what it currently is, still have adequate ventilation. Years ago, I was spending a lot of time shooting photographs, but in support of lectures at UC Berkeley, I loved it as a tool, but it was not so much a creative outlet. And then I discovered something new. Kite aerial photography. Using kites to lift cameras to take aerial photographs. As architects were trained to try to see a larger picture, there's this bird's eye view in architecture to show how things fit together and then hear from these photographs. Wow, you know, here's a bird's eye view of the immediate world around me. It's a low cost, pretty accessible technique. It's actually pretty fun to do and yields really interesting images. One of the neat things about kite photography has been you have to invent your own gear. I love to build things. I'm a tinkerer by nature. I think I get a lot of that from my grandfather. I learned that it was, um, it was okay to go try to do things that you didn't exactly know how to do. Sometimes you can really think through it and you get what you thought. But more often than not, things are revealed that you didn't anticipate. Just by displacing ourselves, then we get an entirely new perspective on things that are familiar. And it reveals a lot. Well, Paloma, I followed that video to the letter, and now I have a live stream camera to the kite. Cool. What are you looking at? Well, it's kind of weird, Paloma. You know how we're in the middle of the woods, and uh, we haven't seen anyone ever, and now we suddenly have neighbors? I think that's kind of strange because they haven't been around anywhere before, and we're miles away from any form of civilization. Wait, is that Rebecca Raptor? It is. What is she building in there? I don't know, but we have a right to know, mostly because I also want to be making things and not reading these lines that you wrote for me. I think she's making a cardboard carnival. Wait, are those string instruments? Yeah, wait, now she's giving herself a blue ribbon. Is she having a maker camp by herself? Why? Why would she do that? Oh, hey, hey campers. Um, we're a little bit busy right now, so we'll have to check in with you guys later.
campers, we're still spying on Rebecca, which is a totally morally and ambiguous thing to do. Yay. Hey, can you move it a little closer so we can see what she's making? I'm already on it, Paloma. Just Wait. see it now. Has she just been watching us this whole time to make her own maker camp? It seems like she is. Why, why would she do that without telling us? Well, uh, anyway, what, what did you make today, Paloma? I made a kite. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, this template's gonna be on makercamp.com so that you can make one just like this. Or you could cut out a similar pattern and draw on it and make it all your own. Ah, I really like that there's a straw on it. I think that's a really cool thing that I've never seen done in a kite before. And it's just, it flies so well. I've always been terrible at kites. And so this finally worked, which is amazing. And I see you've got yours. Yeah, I've, I found a lot larger straws. You can look around at the supermarket or something and see if you can arrange them in a bunch of rows to make an even bigger kite. And my kite's pretty huge, mostly because I had to fit a camera on there. Yeah, if you want to hang anything from your kite, you got to make it really big and really strong. Yeah. This one could probably hold something really tiny, but it's more for tips, like really cool tricks and doing stuff that's awesome. So campers, I cannot wait to see what you do with this. It's going to be amazing. Please post videos of your kites flying. I think it'll be so awesome. And remember, as always, if this project is a little too easy or too difficult, you can go to makercamp.com and find a whole list of projects with today's theme. So let's check out what you did yesterday. Wow, great stuff, campers. I'm gonna have to really up my game since I figure out how to get this kite down. What'd you figure out today, Paloma? Wait, she's coming back! <gasps> ah, ah, ah! Oh, hey, Rebecca. What have you been up to today? Script writing, like all of your scripts. Wait, I thought you, you wrote, wrote our the script. scripts. Nope. Silly humans, I've been working this show from the start. It's part of my ambition to move to LA and take over Hollywood. Oh, it's really nice to have ambitions in screenwriting. Oh, well, I mean, I'm going to literally take over LA. Producers are terrified of claws. Okay. Well, campers, remember to keep uploading your photos and videos to the Maker Camp community, and maybe you can become internet famous and find out how long Universal Studios has left. And in the Maker Camp community, be sure to have your questions and comments for Paloma, a person who saw the sign and it opened up her eyes. Use hashtag Maker Camp on Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Feta, Cheddar, Gruyere, Munster. See you later, campers! <laughs>